education with a high price. The average amount a college student in Missouri borrows to pay for school is roughly $35,000. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley joins us live from Jefferson City, and she's tracking which Missouri institutions are graduating students with the highest average amount of debt, Emily? President Joe Biden announced that millions would have their student loan debt erased under his forgiveness plan. According to the Education Data Initiative, about 833,000 Missourians owe money back for their college education. For so many people, this is life changing. U.S. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona says the president's plan helps fix a broken system. Everyone knows college costs have gone out of control. We're addressing that. We're increasing accountability. We're going after those who have taken advantage of students. Under Biden's plan, those making less than $125,000 a year would be eligible to have up to $10,000 of federal student loans forgiven. For Pell Grant recipients, up to $20,000 can be erased. And we're using the authority we have to help everyday Americans, middle class Americans, get back on their feet and move on with life. But Missouri Senator Josh Hawley says what the president is doing is abusing his power. I don't think that the president has the authority, number one, or the right, number two, to take away the money from hardworking Missourians and to give it to some of the wealthiest people in the nation. The Institute for College Access and Success shows graduates from St. Louis College of Pharmacy and Missouri Valley College in Marshall, both private schools, leave school with the highest amounts of debt in the state with $62,000 and $49,000. College grads from Mizzou, a public school, leave with $28,000 in debt. Following right behind is Missouri State University in Springfield with $27,000. The lowest average is State Technical College in Lynn with $1,800. And who pays for it? Working Missourians pay for it. People who didn't go to college, who got a job, who are trying to support a family, and now their tax money is being taken illegally. People are now able to get back on their feet, buy a home, contribute to the economy. Cardona says that the president's administration is also talking about reimbursing Americans who paid off their college loans during the pandemic. Attorney General Eric Schmidt, who is the Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate race, is looking at legal challenges against Biden's plan. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau tonight in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.